everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Rock Tio Studio. Today I'm sharing with you day 12 of our month-long daily art journaling challenge over at Art Joy of Sharing Art Community on Facebook. This one is called Hashtag AJOS Peculiar Persona. It's all about making uh, cute and fun characters in your art journal as a daily practice. And all the prompts um, are coming from the group and their names which you can then interpret in any way that you want to. Uh, the names just kind of give you a clue as to who the character might be. So today, number 12 is Mazaru Mousy. I looked up the word Mazaru, and it's a Japanese name that means um, kind and intelligent, and in some cases, maybe excellent. That's what the Google said. So, you know, you got to listen to the Google, I guess. So, of course... Mousy, it just seems like, I mean, it could be, it could be someone who, you know, sometimes that's like an adjective that describes someone who's plain and has dishwater blonde hair and is quiet, sits in the corner, doesn't speak, wallflower type person is referred to as mousy, but I think that's rude. So I would rather just make a cute little mouse. So I used a graphite pencil to draw a mouse onto my page. This is a Dilusions dialogue journal. It has lines in the background for you to write, but I just use it as an art journal. I think these, these insert journals were designed for maybe more like daily planning, but they have that nice uh, cardstock paper that's like manila cardstock. And so I've just been using this one and my um, my matching one that has all black pages for this challenge. And making a video every day in the month of October 2021. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you probably should and turn on the notification bell so that you know when uh, the video comes out for the day. Also, if you haven't joined our group, the link is below the video. Um, it's a safe space space for sharing your art and also um, we have challenges like like this one like ATC challenges um, other types of challenges throughout the year as well as the pick a stick and uh, mood board challenges all that type of stuff and also monthly themes so a uh, good place to join up if you happen to be on Facebook and you like to do art so I decided to make a pastel background because I was thinking that my mouse is very kind and sweet and thankful and um, gentle, that type of a character. So I thought uh, pastel would be nice. So I've got some light rose, some, um, I think it's called portrait pink, some Naples yellow, some sky blue, and then I have a lavender, which I mixed with titanium white to make it lighter. And I have a catalyst tool. This is like a silicone paintbrush. And I'm painting on the colors here and there, going around my mouse. And then I'm taking this stencil, which was designed by, I believe, Seth Apter for Stencil Girl Products. And I've got Baby Wipe. And I'm just putting the stencil over the, the slightly wet acrylic paint and then rubbing through the stencil with the Baby Wipe and removing paint that's underneath which gives me a pattern. So I have kind of the result of a the result the result is a pastel colored background with pattern. Simple and easy way to do it. This page didn't take me all that long, um, which is good on a daily challenge where I need to make an art journal page that day as well as a video because the editing and processing and uploading of videos is it takes more time than making the page. <laughs> to be honest, it really does. So once that was all dry, um, I dried it with a heat tool. My heat tool died in the middle of this process. I don't know. I mean, back in the day, I had a heat tool that was from Stampin' Up. And it was made by, I think, probably, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the manufacturer right now. It's in my head, but I can't get it out. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you? Something's like right there and you know what it is, but you can't, you can't get it. Anyway, that thing lasted for years. It lasted for 10 years. And since that one finally died, I've bought three, three different ones. And I have lost three of them. 
they've died. They just stop working or they smoke and smoke comes out of it like it's on fire. So, yeah, <laughs> not happy with the quality of products these days. That really annoys me. Um, so the next thing I did was I got out my um, Stabilo All Pencil. That's the one that really reacts to water, like more so than any other product out there. Comes in different colors. I used the black. I went over the lines of my mouse and I also drew uh, a ground or horizon line for my mouse to stand on so he's not floating in air. And then a little mouse hole on the other page. There, there's a section right there that says story. It's from the stencil, the word story. And I kind of made my mouse um, hole door thing uh, around that word because, you know, I'm trying to tell the story of this character. I don't have a whole lot to say about Mazzaro Mousy. Um, she's she's nice, you know, but that's not very dramatic. <laughs> so then I got out my water soluble crayons. The these are the uh, Neo Color Two water soluble crayons. Love these. These are my favorite of all the crayons. Um, I don't have all of them. <laughs> a lot of them anyway. Uh, this one and the gel sticks are my favorites. So. I used the same types of colors. I, I drew onto the paper and then blended it with my water brush, water tank brush, but I pushed harder. Um, and I even went over it in some places you'll see in a minute uh, to make it just a little bit more intense color, but it's still the same colors as the background. I didn't use the yellow, but I used the kind of um, Tiffany blue and the lavender and the light pinks. Um, and then I did in, throw in a little bit more intense magenta pink and just blending them out. I blended out the lines as well, but I tried not to get the lines blended with the color, although that didn't always necessarily happen. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> it's, you know, I got a watercolor product going on with an acrylic product, which makes mixed media, right? This is mixed media. It's a simple version of mixed media, but it is mixed because I've got different media on there. Media being products. So when you're using the heat tool with the crayons, if you continue drying as you're adding more color, it kind of melts the crayons a little bit. It makes, makes even a more intense color. I wouldn't want to sit there and melt the crayons because they, do, I mean, they do have some sort of a waxy stuff in them, but they're not particularly waxy. They dissolve with water, so they can't be wax. But I don't know. It just, when I was adding in that little bit of darker punch of the lavender, um, having the paper wet, the paper warm made a difference. That's all I'm saying. So then I got out some stamps. Um, this is an old Stampin' Up! set. Uh, a to Z graphics or something like that. I don't know. It's just got a bunch of little shape stamps. It doesn't matter what stamps you use. Um, whatever you've got. <laughs> and I got out some black archival ink. Now this is my third media, so we're mixing some more media up. Um, this one, this little rectangle one, I thought looked like bricks. So I decided to give kind of a brick texture um, to my back my background. Why did I get out black, you ask? It's because I had this real pastel background and then I had this hard black lines and I felt like it didn't balance itself. So I wanted to just add a little bit of black into the background and kind of make everything balance out and doing the stamps, mark making with the stamps was a way to do it. You could also mark make with, you know, a pen or something or your fingers or whatever just to get a little bit more balance in there and then I got out the gray as well and there was there was a stamp in this set that's kind of a texture it kind of looks like scraping texture and I added that in as well with the gray in the areas where I had already done the black stamping a little bit more um, you know, just, just making a little bit more something, something. I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for. I'm not very good at talking today. Sorry, guys. It's just everything is like, ugh. Everything is, ugh. You know? <laughs> so then I wrote 
the name of the mouse, Mazzaro Mousy. I got out a different pen that's fat and black and dark and went over it to make it stand out from the background. And then I got out some stickers from a Ranger sticker set that has words and kind of put those on, uh, talking about someone who's kind and hopeful and thankful. You know, a nice, nice person like Mazaro Mousy. She's very nice. So that was it. Um, after the later on after the camera, when I was taking the pictures, I decided I needed to put some black lines around those stickers because they didn't uh, look very good. Oh yeah, I put a white highlight on the words. I do that quite a bit. So I hope you have enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or question. Subscribe. Turn on your notification bell. Share this if you want to. And I'll see you over in the Art Drive Sharing Group. That's it for me. Bye-bye.